Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Let's Do. But before starting our session, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss any update from us. We also have courses in different subjects, so do check them out on our website www.letstew.com. In our previous session, we learned about the modes of transmission of diseases through air, water, food, etc. and also about its treatment. In today's session, we are going to discuss about the ways to prevent diseases, the immune system and also the ways to strengthen the immune system. So let's get started. Diseases can be prevented in two ways. Number one is by preventing the exposure to the infectious agents like airborne diseases can be prevented by using face masks or avoiding going to the crowded places. Waterborne diseases can be prevented by drinking safe and pure drinking water. Vectorborne diseases can be prevented by keeping our surroundings clean and maintaining personal or public hygiene. The second way is to strengthen our immune system. But first, let us understand what immune system is. These are the network of cells, tissues or organs that work together in order to protect ourselves from diseases. These includes lymph, antibodies, white blood cells, bone marrow and thymus. Basically, the germs that enter into our body are called as antigen and as soon as these immune system recognizes them, they release antibodies which destroy these germs. Coming back to our way to strengthen the immune system can be done by exercising regularly, eating a healthy diet and practicing mindfulness in order to reduce the stress. A specific method to do so is through the vaccination. A vaccine contains agents similar to that of the causative agent in a weak or killed form. Inducing it into the body makes our immune system learn how to fight against it and it protects ourselves from the diseases when the actual disease causing agent enters into our body. Today vaccines are available for different diseases like polio, measles, hepatitis etc. So far we have discussed how to get rid of diseases if someone has but there are certain limitations to it. Let's check them out. Number one is if someone has a disease then his or her body function might have got damaged and they may never recover properly. Second is that the person is likely to get bedridden for some time till the time the treatment is going even if we are reducing the symptoms. Number three is if the person has acquired or cast an infectious disease then that person become the source for the transmission of diseases from one person to another person. So friends I hope you all have understood about the ways to prevent the diseases and about our immune system. So let's have a look on what we have learned till now. So that's it for today. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and press the bell icon to get more such videos from us. Till then, keep watching, keep learning. Thank you.